So, you two need a little help. I will give you the best possible chance of getting pregnant. How does that sound? That sounds great. There's a lot of voodoo out there. We just want to make sure that you get the best possible care. <laughs> Zanab, Jeff in Las Vegas. Hi, Jeff. How are you? I am fine. I love your name. It is so beautiful. Can you tell me the origin? It's Arabic. It means desert rose or desert flower. Oh, I love it. It's wonderful. Thank you. <laughs> well, thank you for talking to me today about false positive. Uh, you play Grace Singleton, uh, who's a midwife. Now, I thought midwives were like colonial times or the wild west do they still have midwives today what, what exactly is a midwife they do have midwives today. they just call them different names now but it's essentially the same thing it's like you know they have what is it doula they've got although that's slightly different they have i don't know they, birthing professionals i don't know someone who's never had a child or <laughs> I don't plan to in the near future. <laughs> I don't know what they have, but um, yeah, midwives are still, they're still very much there. And uh, it's a profession that's very much um, needed and present. It still, still happens. It still happens. Well, as an actress, accepting this role as a midwife, did you research this? Did you actually meet some midwives and, and find out how they work? Or I'm curious. I did not research this, but I do have a sister who is actually an OBGYN. Oh. So that was it. But I didn't even I didn't grill her for any information. I just, you know, I just said, oh, OK, I have I know someone who does that. But that's about as far as he went. I feel the script was so well written. The character was so well written. All the work was done for me. You know, it was right there on the page. You know, all I had to do is like step into her shoes, literally, and uh, put on her clothes and um, embody her. And when you were speaking to your sister about the role of a midwife, did she say that that was something that's recommended or, or is it, do professionals think, I'm just trying to figure out the line where a midwife versus a professional, what, what the advantages well, and midwife, disadvantages. Well, midwives are professionals, you know, they okay. are professionals. Absolutely. My, I come from a culture in West Africa. I'm from Sierra Leone in West Africa. And, you know, there's no, there's no line between what's known as conventional Western medicine and traditional medicine that both are practiced hand in hand. They both complement each other. You know what I mean? And, um, and, and there's some parts of in Sierra Leone where a woman just goes into the woods and has a baby by herself or does it by herself at home. They don't really need to have a doctor there quite often. It's done, especially when you're in the more rural communities, it's very common for women to just go have a baby by herself. <laughs> you know what I mean? Well, it's uh, in this, in False Positive, it's a thriller. And uh, the character of Lucy comes to your character because she doesn't trust her OBGYN. She thinks there's something sinister going on. And I was curious when you were reading the script, you know, the, if the finished movie is just what a thrill. You know, it's just like I, when I first heard the title of this movie and I saw some of it, I thought, oh, it's me about a couple trying to have a baby. It's going to be a drama. <laughs> Yes. Boy, was I wrong? <laughs> it was just, you know, a really disturbing thriller. So how did that read when you were uh, auditioning for the role? Uh, exactly like you said, it read like, oh, this is going to be a drama. They're trying for a baby. It's going to be a, uh, and then it became a psychological drama. And then it even changed further when we got to set and we started working on it. Every day was an epiphany for me where it was suddenly I was like, oh, oh, this is what's happening. Oh, my goodness. I did not know. So, ah, uh, is this a horror? You know, <laughs> which is so, it was so exciting because it just um, the roller coaster of it, everything every day was different from what from what you read on the page to how the D, the DP and the director and the writers saw it, how it was um, put on its feet, so to speak, it was very, very it was exciting. It was heightened, very heightened. Didn't expect it. And was it unusual for you as an actress, uh, because Ilana Glaze not only was the writer and producer, but the star of the film, too. You know, mm -hmm. so you had the the person wearing all three hats right in front of you the whole time. Oh, it was wonderful between, she co-wrote it with the director, John, and it was wonderful to have them there on the set so that it, it provided a guide for me, you know, it's that they allowed, it was a collaborative process. They allowed me to explore and find my own path into the character. But at the same time, I felt comfortable enough that they would guide me back if I veered too far off the path, 
you know what I mean? I felt like they would be there to say, no, that's not really where she'd be going, but there, there was a trust that it was a wonderful privilege to have the writer right there acting opposite me, you know? <laughs> well, you were wonderful. It was a great thriller premiering on Hulu, False Positive. Zanab, thank you so much for joining me today. It was a great pleasure. We'll talk again soon. Thank you, Jeffrey. Thank <laughs> you.